For hypothalamic hamartomas located in the floor of the third ventricle, the transcolosal interfornicele approach uses natural corridors to reach the lesion. The surgical approach passes through the fissure between the cerebral hemispheres, through the corpus callosum, between the fornices, and into the third ventricle. The approach is guided by stereotactic neuronavigation. The surgery begins with a coronal incision behind the hairline. The skull is opened with an anterior inner hemispheric craniotomy which crosses the superior sagittal sinus and is mostly contralateral to the lesion location. The dura is opened with a C-shaped incision. The patient's head is tilted 45 degrees, allowing gravity to separate the cerebral hemispheres down to the corpus callosum. The corpus callosum is divided on the midline, and the subcolossal triangle is entered between the thin leaves of the septum pellucidum. Gentle retraction on the septum pellucidum separates the columns of the fornix, allowing the surgeon to safely enter the third ventricle. The fornices are nerve fiber tracts that terminate in the mammillary bodies. This approach is designed to avoid injury to the fornices, which can cause loss of short-term memory. Once the third ventricle is entered, the hypothalamic hamartoma is visualized beneath the ependymal surface, bulging into the third ventricle. The hamartoma is carefully removed by suction. The dura is closed with watertight sutures. The bone flap is reattached with mini plates. The skin incision is closed with continuous sutures.